Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of the liver enzyme lab. So liver is a, is a tissue that's found in humans and all sorts of other animals. For the sake of this lab, we're going to be using beef liver. And liver has an enzyme called catalase in it. Well, this enzyme reacts with hydrogen peroxide, which is something our cells produce during their daily processes, but it is a toxin. So our body has to get rid of this toxin. And we do that with this catalase enzyme reaction. So during today's lab, I'm going to be exposing different types of liver to hydrogen peroxide, and we're going to be rating the reaction rate. So how many bubbles are produced as a gas is given off. Now, we're going to start with raw liver. We also have potato because different tissues of different plants and animals also have the catalase enzyme. Then we have cooked liver, which has been exposed to an extreme temperature. We have frozen liver exposed to an extreme temperature on the other end with cold. And then we have a liver that's been soaked in acid and a liver that's been soaked in base. And both of those will show us what different pH levels do to the enzymes in liver as well. So let's get started. So we're going to start with our raw liver, which is serving as our control in this experiment. So here's our raw liver and we're going to add about a mil to two milliliters of peroxide. And we're going to observe the bubbles that form. As you can see, it's still bubbling. We're about halfway up the test tube here at this point. So I'm gonna put this in our test tube rack and let it keep going. So with your group, you need to determine what you think the rate of this reaction is for this first one. Starting with zero, going all the way to five. And it's okay if you want to change your rating later on after you have viewed other reactions. But for now, give this a rating from zero to five. Zero being no reaction at all and five being a very extreme reaction. Now we're going to look at potato. So let's see what potato <clears throat> enzymes do when they react with hydrogen peroxide. So we see some bubbles forming. <coughs> but not nearly the amount of bubbles that formed with our first test tube reaction. Next up, we're going to examine cooked liver. So this liver has been exposed to high heat. There's a couple bubbles, but not really much is going on. So when we compare the cooked liver to the potato, you see that the potato does have more of a reaction than the cooked liver. All right, now we're going to look at frozen liver. So as you can see, we're bubbling, which means this means that the enzymes are working, that they are forming that reaction with the substrate. So we're still going, we're gonna let that one sit. Next we have our low pH. So this has been soaked in an acid. We do see some reaction here. And lastly, we're going to do high pH. So this is liver that has been soaked in a base. So once again, a little bit of a reaction. So it's important here to compare. We have acid here versus base. So look at what the reactions of those look like and they do look pretty similar. The acid appears to be still reacting. Another important comparison to make is the raw versus the frozen. So both of them bubbled pretty highly up the test tube. And then we also wanna look at frozen versus cooked. So cooked is here and this is frozen. And you'll notice a pretty big difference in the reaction rates of those. So to give you a little bit of a closer view, 
here are the different enzyme reactions. So once again, this one is our raw. This is our potato. This is our cooked. This is our frozen. This is our low pH or acid. And this is our high pH or base.